Australia's most important alliance is with, is with the US. A lot of our military equipment uh, is sourced from the United States. So the platform I support is the P-8 Poseidon. P-8's a multi-mission aircraft, primarily designed for anti-submarine warfare, but has significant amounts of ASUW, ISR, and also uh, a lot of strength in search and rescue, uh, humanitarian assistance mission, really a Swiss Army knife of the of the United States Navy, Naval Aviation. Whilst we both uh, use the platform as a maritime patrol aircraft, for the US Navy it's uh, primarily anti-submarine warfare for, for Australia. The other roles, in, in particular uh, surveillance of coastal approaches, is, is probably just as high priority. Each international partner is going to use the aircraft differently, use the capability differently. They live in a different part of the world with different regional threats and interests, totally different perspective on on what they need that asset to do. As we mix all those together, eventually we come to a solution that's, that's best for all of us, and we end up with a more capable aircraft. So we have a cooperative program agreement with uh, the Australian government, and as part of that, we bring together resources, both financial and non-financial. One of the fundamental benefits of uh, not just working with the US Navy, but working with the US Navy as a cooperative partner because we are cooperatively developing, acquiring and sustaining the platform, rather than having two organisations expend similar amounts of effort doing the same thing twice, we can come together and do it once for a larger fleet. Uh, consequently, it's a lot more efficient uh, and effective. You get a lot of intangible effects like increased interoperability, the ability to utilise both our buying power and their buying power to get lower prices by putting them on the same production line at an increased rate, saving both our U.S. and the partners money, and really the ability to, to share ideas as we, each of us have similar requirements but used in a different part of the world. By incorporating all that, we each come up with a better product in the end. The most obvious success uh, to me was the ability for the RAF to declare its initial operational capability about five months earlier uh, than scheduled. And since that declaration, our aircraft have deployed on operations and deployed on exercise, both on our own and, and uh, cooperatively with the Navy, and, and they've all been uh, as successful as, uh, as we would expect. So this is the first year they did this international award. Uh, Navy IPO was looking to increase recognition for international programs. I think we're a unique case in that we have both foreign military sales cases, both on the P3 side and on the P8 side and also the cooperative program with Australia. The award we won was for the international team within PMA 290. It, uh, it included both the P8 cooperative program and also the, the, uh, the FMS team that works internationally. In terms of what enabled it, uh, I think it is a successful program on the whole as a result of having a really good team of people together. We make our partners more capable and they're our partners, so that makes us more capable. When we work together, we make sure that our assets and their assets all work together seamlessly as a single force as we go out to fight. We are acutely conscious of the fact that Australia has fought in every major conflict that the US has been involved with over the last 100 years. We value our alliance greatly. We consider us to have very closely shared values and principles and, uh, and consequently find ourselves on the same sides of almost every issue, which is great. So that obviously builds, enables us to build a strong alliance and, and yeah, we're friends for life. Uh, I, I certainly, uh, it, it looks that way, the way things are heading so far.